Can a cell therapy made from your own body, mixed with the Miami sunshine, become the answer to treating spinal cord injury? Hi everyone, I'm your host Mike, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're looking at the Miami Project to Cure Paralysis at the University of Miami, one of the biggest and longest-running SCI research centers in the world. Co-founded by neurosurgeon Dr. Barth Green and philanthropist Nick Buonaconti all the way back in 1985, the Miami Project has been working with Schwann cells. These are the insulation cells of your peripheral nerves. They help signals travel fast and strong, which would otherwise dissipate before reaching the target. Going back to the 1990s, they showed in animals these cells can support regrowth and remyelinate axons inside an injured spinal cord. Then, they took it into humans. In a Phase 1 FDA-approved safety trial published in 2017, they treated six people with thoracic, neurologically complete injuries. They focused on acute injuries at 5 to 30 days after injury. The treatment consisted of taking a small nerve biopsy from the leg, then growing the patient's Schwann cells in a lab, and then inject them into the injury site around four to seven weeks post-injury. The main trial aim was to prove it was safe, and they passed with flying colors. To top this off, one participant converted AISA to AISB, meaning complete to incomplete, gaining some sensation and a bit of function below the injury. But what about us chronic injuries? Did Miami ever test Schwann cells in people who were already long past the early window? And the answer is yes. They did a phase one chronic SCI trial looking mainly at safety and feasibility. Participants were one year post-injury. Again, they took a nerve biopsy from the patient's leg, expanded the person's own Schwann cells, then transplanted them into the injury lesion cavity alongside a structured rehab program. It was still a small safety study, but they reported there was at least one patient case where they improved in both motor and sensory score. Miami Project's next upgrade is a combo therapy. In 2024, Miami teamed with Gel4 Med, a biomaterials company making gel scaffolds. They are now looking to use a peptide hydrogel scaffold designed to help Schwann cells survive and integrate better. However, as of yet, this Schwann cell transplant trial is yet to begin, but I'll keep my eye on the data for updates. In the meantime, Miami's also focusing on spinal cord stimulation therapy and are currently recruiting in the exciting area of using a brain-computer interface in controlling a spinal stimulator to enhance arm and hand function and effectively bridging thought to movement. Futuristic stuff, that needs its own video. As always, I'll keep my eye on the data for updates. Be sure to like and subscribe to follow the latest SCI research news, and drop me a comment on what you'd like investigating next. Keep well, and thanks for watching.